Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fontaine Futuristics. This is it, End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Yep. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. Now, one of the whole things about this game that has not... Well, it would have been entirely explained if you were listening to all of the audio logs, but since I haven't, it hasn't been particularly well explained, is that Delta dies, and all Alpha series die if they're away from their little sister for too long. Now, Delta was dead for quite a while, simply by his own doing, beginning of the game, had to shoot himself in the head, so on and so forth, but he still needs to get to Eleanor to be able to do this. Damage research... Wait, I didn't have this tonic yet? Oh my goodness, I'm, I went back further than I thought with that lost footage. Okay, so damage research increases the value of damage bonuses for research. One of the best tonics in the game, something you'll always want to have equipped. I'm actually going to get rid of Handyman for it, since now that I know it uses Eve to heal machines, I really don't want to use it. October 9th, and here he is. Hello. <clears throat> my name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Gil Alexander. Hmm. Gil Alexander. Yes, As I just I said recall, that. He was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. They all do. All of the people that we've been dealing with have something to do. First, we met the Grace, uh, Grace, I believe was her name, uh, who we had to uh, deal with in some way, shape, or form. In my case, I let her live. She realized I was a sentient entity and let me go, even helping me along a bit. A free first aid kit there if you need to pick one up. Next was Stanley Poole, mass murderer, complete scumbag, turned Eleanor into a little sister, and you into her big daddy. So, uh, the moral choice gets a little bit less ambiguous. Stanley was definitely a bad guy. This game th goes from not so much what is your choice of whether or not... Uh, security bot just flew away. This game turns not from your choice of what is moral to rescue or heart is the little sisters, but from that into... Yeah, he's definitely fired, all right. Into who are you willing to kill? Now, I'm really quickly, in, before this cutscene finishes, I'm going to save right here because this is, in my opinion, one of the most difficult areas in rooms in the game. Simply because by this point... His name is Alex the Great. <laughs> Now, oh, Alex the Great's a weird one. He is undoubtedly one of my favorite characters in this game, Gil Alexander, aka Alex the Great, now clinically insane. But this room, as I said, is one of the most difficult in the game. Not just because there are going to be a lot of enemies that you need to face in quick succession, but because of the way that you had to do basically a marathon level, or little sisters, big daddies, big sisters in the previous level, 
without much area for just flat out exploration and splicer encounters, you're probably going to be running a little bit low on money and ammo by this point. I'm actually much better off than I usually am at this point. But that isn't to say that I'm always that way. In fact, usually, I will die at least Alex once in this Great. room. Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He yes. sounds mad as a March hare now. Alright, and hacks are going to get a lot more difficult here in the near future, so you really need to brush up on your skills with precise timing if you want to be able to hack with any relative frequency. Alright, or you're just going to need to not hack, which is an entirely an option. You can do that, but it does help out. I mean, if you have the money to not hack, go for it, but it's really a matter of trading money for skill at this point, so... If you've been using buyouts, you'll be short on cash most definitely, since everything's going to cost 50 to 70 dollars by this point just to hack out. So, we're going to head in here through the security checkpoint the kill set up. Oh. Hold up. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not dead. You might have that wrong. Yep, thank you for updating that status. Now... and we reach the final enemy type in the game. And arguably one of the most interesting, Alpha Big Daddy, the same as you, with all the abilities to use elemental powers and grenade launchers. And for some reason my game just got a lot louder. Goodness. So, Alpha Series Big Daddies, same as you, more lightly armored but a lot more heavily equipped. Alpha Series Big Daddies are notable for wielding grenade launchers, shotguns, guns, and pretty much anything else you care to name. And they can carry some useful things, but for this time I'm just going to freeze them and blow them up. There we go. We are now into the facility. So now we just need to go to the security office with Gil. Hello again. And we should be good. I have been exposed. To a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself, ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is. Agnes Day. Alright, so Gil has really thought this all out. Agnes Day. Not only did he realize that he was going to go insane, Please he made sure that whoever received enter. the message... Message? Message? Agnes Goodness. Day. I need to stop trying to speak while hearing words. He made sure that his, me his message would land in the right hands. This is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Alright, so yeah, Alex the Great is definitely a lot less, uh, kind than Gil Alexander, even though they are one and the same. So we're just going to use Gil's password to get through this door, but oh. Hello. What are you doing? That's not the password. No shit. Alright, so Alex is a pain in the ass. Oh, he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. 
See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Yep. So, adventure two. Oh, come on. Alright, so we've got to get through this area, despite Gil Alexander. Additionally, we- where are you going? There's just this place of running away. It's a bit odd. I wonder why you would want to do that. Then again, he's probably caught on that Alpha Series are pretty dangerous by now, hanging out in the area where they are. Now, there was a first aid station around here, I was pretty sure, and I don't want to waste an e-pipe on this if I can help it. But I cannot seem to locate it, so... Unless I can find it in the next 10 seconds or so here, I think I'm just going to use this and get it over with. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. There's an effective means. Alright, fun fact too. If you freeze an enemy, their hacking needle slows down, allowing you to get much easier control I of them. I designed that device, Delta. You fumble at it like an amorous baboon! And while Gil's completely insane and not the nicest guy, I do think he has some of the best lines in the game. The Just sitting there taunting you the entire time. Oh. All of this is no. There we go. Even justice is whimsy. Hmm. He alone is fit to weigh, to measure, and to come up. Well, Lamb definitely has her own ideas, and she talks a lot about the tyrant, the same the way that Andrew Ryan talked about the parasite. Except he, she's talking about it from the other end. And both of them are terrible people. It's almost as if, as if they're saying that extremism in any form is a negative thing. Alright, one of the best tonics in the game. I know I say that a lot, but that's because you can have like, what is this, 18 best tonics equipped? Drill power 2. You do even more damage when you spin or swing the drill. So combined with damage research and drill power 1, you're going to be absolutely annihilating enemies. Uh, I'm wondering what I should dump for it, though. Um... I'm gonna dump Sport Boost for now. Oh god, Sticky Bombs. Oh hey, a first aid kit. A station. Okay, so that turret that we hacked earlier is actually gonna be helping us out here. Oh my goodness, we do do so much more damage. Instant give on enemies. And like I said, Jill Alexander. Maybe not the nicest guy, but certainly one of the most amusing. Now, we got... more grenades, but more importantly, we got heat-seeking grenade ammo. It can be used to fire around corners, just Don't like in game one. Nope. Who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna stop me? You, Blinky? I'm very disappointed in you, Delta. Destruction! Of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 Yeah, that's nice. Send me my pink slip. Oh, security alert. I actually forgot about this. As soon as you do that, he summons a couple of bots. But... Oh, uh, it looks like a bit of a bug I there. You know what you're up to? You're up to my job, aren't you? With your no. background? <laughs> Do you know what class of person we chose for the Alpha series? Criminals, Delta. You'll be laughed out of the boardroom, out of the city! Well, he's wrong, but he's also insane, so I can't really fault him for that too much. I think you're onto something, kid. Some kind of pirate now, relay doohickey. Kid. Yeah, yeah, quiet for now. Health upgrade, Eve upgrade, and we can upgrade to some of the best plasmids in the game now. Electrobolt 3, first and foremost. Our best and brightest. Every single attack causes chain lightning now, and if we press and hold right click, we can charge up to a constant stream of electricity. Winter Blast 3. Uh, this, this sound really is low, I'm going to try reloading this in a second. 
Uh, you want to... It is the same as the charge shot for level 2, freezes enemies in an ice block, but now it also can be used to charge up a nice storm. Uh, we don't have enough to get incinerate 2 and 3, but we'll do that eventually. Do we have enough for decoy 2 and 3? Decoy 2, at the very least. Now, our decoy does damage back to enemies, which is quite amazing. And we don't have enough for tonics yet, but we're going to be getting Eve Expert... No, not Eve Expert, what is it? Eve Saver 2, here we are. And Hurried Hacker. Keep in security under his spell. Find the rest of those and vandalize them directly. Yes, 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 you got... Oh my goodness. Do you have a little sister? You do. I think it's worth it to fight you then. Especially due to the fact that rumblers are incredibly easy when it comes to... Oh my god, look at that damage. It's amazing. When, once you can use the decoy plasmid, rumblers become incredibly easy. Or if you're using the freezing plasmid. Shattered ice blocks leave behind loot. Okay, so that makes more sense. Now, with the fact that we have ice bl ice upgraded, we no longer have to sacrifice loot for using it. Any enemy that's frozen in an ice block when you shatter it dies immediately and still gives you the loot they would have given you before. So that's actually quite excellent and something I think I'm going to be using from now on. Now, let's head into marketing really quickly. And if I'm not mistaken, all of these enemies are alive. Oh, not to mention, if you hit an enemy that's been frozen in an ice block, and it explodes, yeah, I think what it's saying is it freezes nearby and Just from the... Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a container. Still leaves behind loot, I'll be darned. That's actually really excellent. Why have I never picked up this plasmid before? This is great. See? Just one ice block. Already doing great. So I'm going to go ahead and hack this health station. Here, nah, forget it. Auto hack. There's one just around the corner, so I'm not wasting anything. Keep tinkering, you Frank amateur. How long before you botch the job? I already did. Now, let's go ahead and incinerate that. And we find one of the strangest encounters in the game, the unstable teleport plasmid. I'm gonna actually get out an auto hack dart here just in case. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so auto hack darts are in full supply here. And I didn't really want to waste too much on that. The unstable teleport plasmid, every single time you touch it, will disappear and then reappear in a different area in a couple of moments, such as there in this case. There we go. And that's going to disappear, and we'll see it again later, but for now, we've got to head back here to find another one of Gil's signal relays. Now, normally, you have to be very careful of this water, because it will deal heavy electrical damage, so you want to jump from platform to platform. But, hey, if you've equipped electric flesh, don't even worry about it. Just walk through the water. Heck, if you have Fountain of Youth, it'll heal you. Oh, no, that's not good. Um... No... My resetting the alarm actually worked out in my favor there. I save that signal reader. Just earned you another slap on the nose, boy! Oh, be quiet, Gil. One of the greatest things is, in this area, since you didn't turn off the electricity, if you have the, uh, tonic I do equipped, as soon as the enemies run into the water, they, uh, they experience a pretty nasty shock. Which you can definitely add to on your own if you want. And considering you have Fountain of Youth by this point, it's easy enough to just heal up the Eve that you use too. Absolutely no cost. You have a couple extra solid slugs over there if you wanted to use them. And they do do heavy damage. Surprise, Delta! <laughs> Ow. I'm just gonna use an auto-hack dart on that thing. I don't feel like dealing with a hack on it right now. And then we are going to gather from this corpse with our brand new rocket turret helping us out. Not to mention Winter Blast 3. Now, once she starts, this isn't going to take very long, since 
thanks to your demanding father. In fact, I can pretty much just wait here. He had a bit of trouble with. Oh my goodness. With getting frozen, so. He had a bit of trouble with getting electrocuted in the other room, which left him at a bit of a disadvantage. I want research of you. How did you get it? Oh, that's an Alpha series! Right, I forgot. They start appearing now. <laughs> Once you start to get far enough into this area, which is to say, once you start gathering, Alpha Series Big Daddies are going to appear among the normal enemies. So you have to be pretty careful of that. Goodness, wherever the Supini Splice is, it's actually throwing me off quite a bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think he might have bugged out a bit. Still, that was pretty funny. I'm okay with it. Get a little bit of research on the dead body. Oh. That was the dead body of the one I'd already done. And we can just pick her back up now. Cool. Got plenty of research now. So Gil Alexander... ...is starting to lose control over the facility, and honestly, I think this is one of the best done sections in the game. Um, just in terms of being able to explore and being able to work around what you have. Because they don't give you any direction, except for here are the areas where there are... Oof. Where Gil has put down some security overrides. Go ahead and take them out as soon as possible. Now I am going to go ahead and hack this turret. For no other reason than no reason to destroy a perfectly good turret. But I'm not going to go in there yet. That's for a little bit later. Instead, we're going to go find that unstable teleport plasmid wherever it disappeared to. And I know it sounds like there's one here, but for some reason, that's just the first one we destroyed bugging out. There we go. Unstable teleport plasmid top floor. He'll meet us again downstairs. And then I think one more... And then it's going to be finished. Yep, there it is. Just grab the Unstable Teleport Plasmid for the last time, and it's going to take you on a magical little adventure here. Head through marketing. We see the safe that we already went through. Might as well search it again for stuff. We find a door code, as well as a woman, and we see a tonic behind us. guy's getting chased. We're, now we're in the ocean, for some reason. And finally, I have no idea. It, it's Cohen, Cohen's personal mind screw. Anyway, Vending Expert 2. Further reduces prices in vending machines. Quite good, something you want to use, but right now I really don't have the space for it simply from all of my harvesting and observing. Once I get full research on enemies, I'm going to have to worry a lot less about... Oh, I didn't research the big sister last time, did I? S okay, so I'm not maxing out big sister research this game, because I've already missed two of them, I think that makes it. Uh, but, eh, it'll happen. So, now, the cameras flash from the enemies that can't move because they're plaster, and you're back in the main net entry. The tyrant has no family, I, no sure. friends, no country, okay. only what? slaves chained in his wake. Oh, there we go. To his fellows, he asks, of what use are you to me? Those who love him are his subjects, for the tyrant accepts only worship or fear. Alright, so she's going to go ahead and gather us some extra... Eve, well, Lamb... I, I really don't get why Lamb continues preaching over the... Uh... Oh, stop that. Come down here and fight me like a man. Might as well put down Decoy, too. It does deal damage to enemies when they fire at it, so it's actually going to do us quite a bit towards taking out the enemies without us even having to touch them. So once we get up to them, 
A regular melee drill will be more than enough. Get away from her. You don't need to say hello to her. You. Oh, you though. I want to say hello to you personally. Houdini Splice of Research bonus, Natural Camouflage, one of my favorite tonics from game 1, still one of my favorite tonics in game 2. While standing still, you become invisible. You're just, you're gone. Don't even worry about it. I'm actually, I'm gonna replace Eve Link with this for now. And I'm gonna replace the guy bothering the little sister, since I really don't want to worry too much about that. Oh no, did I stop the, I stopped the music. Oh dear. Get out of here. Now, little sister's done harvesting. We've got plenty of gear. So let's head out. Actually, let's 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 get her home first. She's probably tired by now. All this gathering. Oh, I should buy you my post. There we go. Much better. And yeah, there we go. A nice little I didn't need to buy a first aid kit. A nice little spot for her to rest. Cool. Up to 200 Adam now, more than enough to get some extra gene tonic slots if I wanted to. But for now, I think I'm going to continue saving until we save. Oh no, wait, there, there is nothing else in this area, is there? Yeah, I think there's only one little sister to be found here, the rest are found later. So I think that that's going to be just a cause for me to buy upgrades then. So I'm going to get one gene tonic slot at the very beginning. I equip sport boost, but I'm going to unequip it in just a second here. To equip... where is it? Come on... Eve Saver 2. Plasmids use even less Eve. So with Eve Savers 1 and 2, plasmids are going to cost a lot less. And this is what I was talking about by the bug that we had. It's It just continues playing the sound. So we're going to head now to the location of the final over... Wait, is it the final override? I think it is. Should be. Oh no, I've only destroyed two of four. Where are the other ones? Or was the other one singular? Goodness. How could I have neglected one for this long? One is in there, I know that for a fact. One was upstairs. Oh, I haven't gone this way, have I? No, I have. I've been this way. It was the electrical door. So where's the one area that I haven't been? The office of Frank Fontaine, of course. Oh, immediately Alpha Series appears. Luckily, we do have a turret nearby to help us out with this. So I'm just gonna keep freezing him until eventually he shatters. And leaves us behind a lockbox full of goodies. Good. Money, proximity mines, everything we could have wanted. There's Gil's spot shut down. Now, Fontaine was not a dumb man. He had all sorts of things to... Okay, so I'm invisible and I took note of that, but in the time it took me to take note of that, I actually failed the hack. Luckily, I'm invisible! Just like last game, once you're invisible, bots can't spot you, so you have absolutely no cause to fear when you're hacking. Except for the fact that the bots get in your way. Dang it! I am really trash at this today. I'm just gonna get the green bonus there, I'm not gonna go for the full blue bonus. I already have plenty of money and I really don't- dang it! 
I don't want to risk setting off the alarm again, so I'll go the safe route. Oh, I got the blue bonus there. That was all right. Now, one more safe to hack. And naturally. There we go. Much improved. And I got armor-piercing rounds out of that. That's not bad. A couple of first aid kits in there, and an audio log from Fontaine himself. Outlining... Well, actually, I like this one. We'll go ahead and listen to this one. Every time Ryan turns up the heat, I know... Oh. Each new tyrant Figures. In we were trying to listen to something, Delta. Lamb. Fontaine, Come on. Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? He's said it before, he wants to take control of Rapture when all's said and done, and when you're out of the picture, so he can make a profit. This was- were you not listening in on us? I guess she wasn't. No, I, that's, that's actually a very good point. She can't hear what Sinclair's been saying. I think by this point you're supposed to be slightly suspicious of Sinclair's motives. It, and then again, uh, I was betrayed by the last guy that I trusted to give me orders over a loudspeaker, but I, Sinclair doesn't seem like an Atlas. He actually had an established personality before Rapture ended. So, five, two, five, four, the code that we saw earlier when we were on our little plasmid trip. Get some gun rounds from her, frag grenade, storage crate, from spear ammo, and what is this? Careful Hacker 2. The hacking needle moves slower. It's actually a bit of a detriment if you're trying to hack quickly, so I'm going to just put that away. And, oh, here we go. A new diary, and we're already up to $426 again. Excellent. We can always use a little bit more money. Now, here's something cool. There's an electrical demonstration prop. If you hit it, it shocks the water nearby. And why would you need to know that? Well, because we're going to encounter some things that might need to deal with it in a second here. We've got a little bit of drill fuel, but not much. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but we are in the demonstration room of Fontaine Futuristics. Huh. This ammo bandito went a bit off. One little jab in the arm, and even a hopeless underperformer can be employed in a month. Well, you should know. Look around. Is any of this... Oh dear, did I just pause? Oh yeah, I didn't want to. Oh, here we go. Fontaine Futuristic Testing Facility. Welcome back, Delta. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight! 75 drill fuel for free, that's pretty excellent. Alright, so you stand up here and then he starts going on and on and on. And you can just go invisible. Evolve your expectations and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mom, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. All right, fight time. You're about to go through a little bit of a marathon fight. A couple of Houdini slicers. And more important than... Oh! I'm done with Houdini slicers. Wait, where'd you go? There we go, melee attacks. That's the way to go. So we've got a couple extra Houdini slicers who are going to jump in here and try to ruin your day. But once you've got three, three, and the upgraded drill, enemies start to pose a lot less of a threat than they did early game, especially with Phoenix Splicers. What just hit me, I wonder? Oh, you did. 
just over here. There we go. All right, up. Oh, come on now. Just fall down. Round of applause, please, for subject Delta and the power of plasmids. All right. So now the door we passed earlier, an Alpha series oh has appeared to challenge us. Delta. It looks like you've upstaged a fellow demonstrator, and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? Alright, now we are completely invisible right now, so he can't even see us. To that effect, what we're going to do... We're going to just chain gank him with the Ice Blast. Not the most exciting fight, but then, by this point, a lot of fights shouldn't be too exciting. Still a winner, Delta. The tour was never the same without you, and to think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that getup. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a T, my boy. Well, there we go. We have broken his control over security, so now we can enter the security office without any problem whatsoever. Thank you, Recorded Gil. Oh, here we go. Weapon upgrade station. Drill fuel efficiency. About time. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. There we go. Uh, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where where what's left of me awaits you. Please, hmm. use it. Alright. So we've just opened up the door to where Gil Alexander actually is. We've got a couple of splicers in here, but you know what? We're actually going to save them for next time. Because I think this episode is running a little bit about normal time at this point, plus next episode. Well, we couldn't very well include it in the same video. That'd just be entirely too long. So, until next time everyone, this has been PA, and as always, thanks for watching Let's Play Bioshock 2. See you later.